wanted to let you know that hydro quinon, I wish I could say that better, it's to help save dark spots to me, help save them. Then the vitamin B, C, and E, that is to help support the active collagen production in your body. It, it helps enhance it, keep it, keep it remembering how to work. And then also there's the collagen being added to it. And then there's um, squalene. And squalene is shark liver oil. And they don't kill the sh they, they don't hurt the sharks to get it. At least from what I understand, they don't. And uh, it's the best. They kind of like suck it out of the liver. It is uh, highly superior oil for your skin. It, it's um, very, very moisturized. It's excellent skin for your skin. I think it's one of the best. I learned that many, many years ago. Anyway, so next time I get another box of uh, the Borghese product, I'll read more to you. Okay, so now I'm going to get the makeup going and we'll say ta-ta for today. And I'm not going to do a lot. This is just going to be a casual Sunday because it's casual Sunday. So I'm not going to do massive amounts. It's not like I'm needing to go out, but believe me, I love to play with makeup, so give me time, and I'll be doing lots of fun stuff. Okay, I found this stuff. This is, you know, I'm going to keep it simple for today. And I'm just going to go over something simple and easy. Something that you can just pick up at any store. This is Maybelline and it's called Dream Smooth Mousse. It's really hard to find now. I love it though. Like this. And uh, you just open it up. There you go. It comes with this little door on top with a little little pad, but I don't use a pad because I've discovered a new thing, uh, a new way of putting makeup on. I'm always learning new things. This is a tiny little brush, and I got this from Very Essentials, the Very Essentials store in the mall. I'm sure you guys have a Very Essentials store you can order online. But it's a mini one to, to, to put their mineral powder on you. Well, I was playing around, trying things out. I'm always discovering new things and hints and stuff. And I just, I put a little hole in here. I cut some of the pieces. I cut some of the uh, bristles out to make like a little, a little pit in there. So, there's a couple things you can do with it. You can take regular liquid makeup and you drop the liquid makeup in there. Or you could this is the makeup in um, smooth foam. And you could shot that in there, shoot that in there. Or you could just pat on any kind this is like a moisture moisture. It's not a Makes it last a long time too. And if you could tell, there's you can't even hardly see anything on there, do you? But watch what happens. You can see quite a bit. And you just pat it to ground. Well, you just want to blend into the neck. It looks really too odd to see lines, your makeup, and then your neck. You always want to blend in. Mm. And I'm not pushing really hard, but I'm definitely not pushing light either. Then I just 
start blending it in. to really work on this area with me because Italians tend to get real dark in this area as we get older. When I was younger I didn't have that at all. And this is no pressure like the fingers, this is muscles and strength. So when you go like this, you're literally stretching your skin. But when you go like this, you're not stretching it at all. So that's why it's really cool. And it's really super fast and easy to use. And it looks really great. So, ta-da! Okay, so that's a quick, did you see how fast I did that? And my hands are not grossed out. A lot of people don't like to do makeup because of their fingers. It doesn't bother me because I was a preschool teacher. I played with mud. You know. It doesn't bother me. But it's just way easy. And look at the nice application it did. I look all nice and smooth. And, and I use a color that just matches me. I don't try to go darker. I'm already, it's already summer. I'm already getting on the dark side because of the sun. I always put this moisturizer I put on earlier. It, it's a protectant from the sun as well. But, you know, you don't want to go dark and then your skin is, isn't the same. You want to match so you look like one beautiful, what do you call it? Like, a, like, a, like you know, like it's a statue. So you're all one color, not dark and then pale. Okay, I hope you understand. I used to do that, that's why I, I learned my lesson. I do that in high school until one guy came up to me once. Literally, guys are pretty bold sometimes, they're pretty dumb and stupid actually. But you learn from these stupid idiots who say stupid things. But he goes, how can you have a line of brown? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I was probably 16. Anyway, so I right away went like that. And from that point on, I always blend my, my makeup into it. Okay, so there we go. Now, I got a MAC. And this is MAC uh, powder foundation. Now, I don't use a lot. And this is the foundation. But I like the powder foundation of MAC better than their, their powder, their, their um, facial powder. Um, this tends to hold on better, and uh, I, I, I like that better. Now, it again comes with a sponge, but I've noticed when you apply the sponges, you're using your hands again. And you're pushing here maybe harder than you are here. And it doesn't seem to blend in really well. I learned that over time. So I just take one of these little brushes. And I go like this. Oops. Again, you don't see a lot. Maybe you do. Anyway, so then I just go like that. And basically, we're sealing that makeup on and we're taking the shine away. But it's not like a thick layer or anything. It's just feeling it. Yeah. Now, I'm totally done with foundation stuff. Next, since it's, I'm not going out on a date or going out to a special conference or meeting or something. And it's summer. I just found this wonderful product from Avon. Yes, I get products from all over the place. I have a dear, dear friend who sells who sells Avon and boy does she make a good living off of it. And um, I found this awesome brush from Target from Sonia. Pass, pass book? 
I'm sure you know of, of her product. This is one of the best brushes of all brushes I have ever used from MAC, Lancome, SP Lauder, anything. It is so soft. I mean, it is the most soft. And the way it's made, it's, it's like just the perfect cut. Um, SP Lauder makes an awesome one, the one I just used earlier. That's my SP Lauder. And, and it's very similar, and it's really hard to find this type of a, of a, of, of a brush where it cuts really, really fine and smooth. I have other ones, and you can see the difference. How they're, they're, it's just not close. So it's rougher. It doesn't feel as soft. Here's another one. Um, this is a good one. Now look at the difference. This is a um, uh, bare mineral. You see how it's soft and smooth? And this one, is, is, you can totally see. One is rough and one is smooth. These are my blush brushes, but I hardly ever use them. Because it, it's rough, it hurts. Well, it doesn't hurt, but it's rough. Now, this one is a no name. I think I got it at Rite Aid. It's just a dumb brush. And I happen to get lucky. It's actually cut pretty nice. Now, this one is, is used, it's it says it's used for a face brush, or you could use it for blush. But for what I'm going to do right now, I'm not using blush. I'm not going to use a bronzer either. I'm going to use a glow type brush. It's a glow bronze blush mix. Um, it's called Fiji Paradise, and it's an all-over face powder. And it gives you a glow and a bronze and a blush all at the same time. It's just perfect for summer. Yeah, you see it? I just love it. Um, and it's not a mark. It's called Tropical Sunrise, this particular color. When I said mark, Avon makes uh, a product called Mark Product. It's more for young adults. This is not a mark. Okay, so see how it is? You've got a bronze color here and more of a blush color here. I just go like this. So now you've got the whole color on the blush, on the brush. And you just go like that. You just go like that. You do it with an all over powder. And it gives you a little blush. Look at that. You got color. Now, you are going out tonight. Do it straight across. And I focus right here because of the bronze and the blush. Now the bronze is here, the blush is here. So I go like that. And I go like that. And so now I have it all over, but I focus right here on the cheekbone. So I got a bronze and a glow. And do the same. I got a little too close right here. There. Now some girls, they like to go pretty heavy with bronze. But remember, I always blend it. Remember when you get carried away with bronze, then you end up looking like you have this straight line going across your face. Now, if you have a round face, it's good. But if you have, because it gives you an invention, it gives you shape. But I have a heart-shaped face, and it's narrow and skinny in here. And if I were to focus a lot of dark in here, I'm already going in there. I don't need it more than I'll, you know. So dark, just remember, dark makes you seem so go tight, go close, go, go away. Bright brings things out. And, and brings things out. Yeah, I already said that. Okay, so, for example, um, 
if I had a round face and, and, and I wanted to look thinner, I would put brown in here because it gives the appeal that you're thin. Because if you're if it's brown or dark, it gives, it gives the thinness. It gives contouring. Now, if I want to look bright, like I have some kind of dark in here, I would get a, a brightener and just put a little brightener on here and the brightener brings out your eyes more. Um, it, if you want to like really look dramatic, you know, you put your your eyeliner on and you just put, you, go, you kind of go out like this, up, kind of like think of a smile, go up and, and it gives a really cute lift to your face. If you're a teenager, you don't even really worry about the lifting. But as we get older, our face kind of goes down, so we want things to go up. So if we put things that are going against the down, the overall appearance, we look up. Okay. Now, as we get older, our eyebrows get thinner. And there's a saying, there's a saying, you can tell an older person by their eyebrows. The things, I hate these things. So, you get yourself an eyebrow brush, and this one is one of the best I've ever found. It's not too skinny and it's not too thick. It's just perfect. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? And then it has. Um, like a mascara in, and that's for actually brushing your eyebrows. Okay, so brushing in place. Okay, so then, just to keep things simple and easy, this is NYC. Uh, can you see that? NYC. This is their eyebrow. Now, the reason why I like my brush better than theirs is because good job, like a detailed job, with something thick. But this is, is more precise. So you can get it in the crevices you want to put it in. Now, if you don't have little places you really particularly worry about, then the stick a little bite, then you're done. This little stuff on here, it's like um, a little like an adhesive, but it's not an adhesive. It's just cream, like a base. To put on your eyebrows to keep your eyebrows laying down flat, so they're not sticking out. And it keeps the, the powder brow color on. Now I put, I like the brow powder. It's easier to apply, and I can work with it easier. But remember, I'm a painter, and I like to work with it blending and painting. Some people are very good at drawing with pencils. I love to draw, but I like the shading and, um, and blending better than with the sharpness of the, of the pencil. So then I just look at it. I don't do a lot. Like, you, don't, it, it just, you don't need a lot if you want right away. Now, I'm going to have to get a mirror because I can't see. I hope I'm doing okay. This is, I think, a five. Alright. So, I want you to really try to see what I'm doing. I hope you can see. Do I have something to put my hair Well, there. That's good. Alright. I'm going to show you as close as I can. How's that? Okay. I'm going to have to go a little bit more like this. Alright. So now, we have made like that little line. And I just kind of tap, 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 tap. Tap. 
tap, 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 and then I go. Slide, slide. Yeah, I know, I'm into making noises. Remember, as a preschool teacher, when you work with kids, you become a little sound machine. Okay, and then you just blend it. People are always so afraid to work with their eyebrows because they don't want to make a mistake. That's why you got a blender. And then, I've got to show you these wonderful things I got at, at Rite Aid. They're for makeup applying. Um, I, they're they're, they're Q tips basically, but they're made for makeup. You see the point? Can you see? They're really pointy. So, in, I use them when I use my for an eyebrow if I make a mistake. I just kind of go like that. And it makes a nice clean sweep. Okay, so then I go back. And I just see how I just pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it. And then I just follow my hairline. My hair, eyebrows, hair is too short. They don't grow any longer. And they should... Here's my nose. Let me show you how to do it. You go from your nose, your eyes, your, your eyes, to the corner of your eyes, to the corner of your eyebrows. That's where your eyebrow is supposed to end. Mine is a little short. So, that, I just bring it myself. See? And from the distance, and who's gonna go up? Oh, do you do that? And then you just blend it in. Tap, 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 tap. I don't like. I like it to look kind of natural. Um, some girls like it really, really thick and dark, which I've done like that as well. But like I said, it's Sunday, relaxing day, summer. We don't need to do it all dramatic today. Okay, now, this is how I do my hair. My, my eyes, my hair, everything. And then you just... This is a, in front of my mirror. It's in the stocking. I'm like this. Make your line. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, I'm not even finished it. You can already see. Better than it is. It's so spacious and short and sketchy. Look, I don't even need this for that eye, but I did for that one. So I'm going to save this for next time. I don't need to throw it away. It's still fine. So I'm not going to put it back in here and make these all dirty. So it just goes in my tray. See, I have a tray. This was probably made for. <laughs> This is probably made for utensils in a drawer. But I feel perfect for my makeup. Okay, so we're done with everything as far as a relaxing Sunday. So we're done with the eyebrows, blush, everything. Now it's just time for some eye mascara and lipstick. I use this great lash. Oh my gosh. This stuff is the best. Now I'm a hairdresser and a makeup artist and I have been for since nineteen eighty. And of course I've always gone to the most nicest stores and as well as Target and Rite Aid and wherever else. I've gone all over. And I'm just sorry, I'm something just fell down. Okay. So, I, I, I shop all different things, and the saying that you have to stick to one company is a bunch of baloney. It's, it's not true at all. Don't, don't buy that. I never have, and my face is fine. Um, 
Now, with the with, with the face treatment product, I like to stay with the one brand. If you notice, I use pretty much everything in one brand except for the uh, dark spots. The brigades are getting have one. Anyway, back to the mascara. This mascara, I've used every mascara you can imagine that's out there. Even other ones that Maybelline makes. And I was doing a commercial uh, a couple years ago. And you can see it on my website. I was so excited. Well, the makeup lady, and I always heard about it, but I never actually saw it. The makeup lady was using this great lash. And so I, I asked her, I said, is that true that in Hollywood, makeup artists pretty much use great lash? And she said, yeah. I said, why is that? She said, you know, there's, it's the choice. It's the cheapest thing you could find. And, and she says, it is the best mascara of all mascaras. It stays on. It goes on fast. It separates. It lifts. It's, it's just perfect. And, and it's reasonable. And when you go through mascara a lot, you, you got to look out for the finances, you know. And mascara should last, I guess, three, four months at max. After that, it, it's dried out and it's not as pliable. And I have this type of brush. It's really an easy brush to work with. You can go under really well. You can get to the point. Okay, so I have to, again, use my mirror because you can't see, unfortunately. I wish I could see what I'm doing, but I can't. So, I'm going to try as best I can so you can see at the same time. See how I squint? I use my muscles to to make the eyebrow, uh, eyelashes comb itself. Like, I pretend this is a hairbrush, you're brushing your hair. Well, I'm making the hair go through it with some pressure. There we go. And then you always want to get on the underside. And then you flip it back up real quick. Now look at that. It's just amazing. And you saw how quick I did it. It's so quick. Now the bottom, I always take this tiny part and we'll go to the very end first. Go to the end and I curl under and go on top. Go under and go on top. Now see how I lift my head like this? If I don't, I'm going to get it on my skin. So I lift it up so I can see the eyelashes really, really well and there's no skin in the way. tons and tons of eyelashes, but 53, don't have them as much as I want to. Excuse my mouth. There. There's a saying, if you have bottom lashes, show them. Some people don't like to put mascara on their bottom lashes, and I have no idea why, because it brings your eyes out. And your eyes, to me, are the window to your soul. And they tell your life. I mean, they, they just, your eyes are, are who you are. You are not your nose. You are not your lips. Your eyes are they, they like you. Okay, so now I'm going to do this side. Excuse me. And again, I angle my, uh, my head in such a way so I'm not around the skin. my phone. Someone text me. Oh, cool. I made a mistake. So I can show you how to clean the mistake. I love that. Notice I didn't have to pump again. I really used the stuff on the, on the brush. Alright, where'd that little Q-tip go? I made a mistake. If you can tell, see how I got some on the skin. So I get my little, just little cleaner here. And I go inside, and it's so easy to clean it right off. And I even kind of roll it 
and it's so simple. Look at that. Just change it right up. And I don't see any other views that I need to clean. Nope. And then we finish the rest. This is usually really fast to do when you're not talking. I'm usually in and out really quick. I don't take a long time in the bathroom at all. I live in a trailer, mobile home, and uh, it gets really hot in here. And I don't want to be in the bathroom at, at very long, as little as possible. It's too small of a room for me. A big luxurious house, a big luxurious bathroom. <laughs> that might be bad news. <laughs> I've not been here too long, and I would never get out of the house. Okay, so there we go. Now, got my eyes done. I should have done just one half, and then you could have seen the difference. Okay, now I'm going to do my lip liner, and we're pretty much done. So I just I'm going to show you how I do mine. I, I start here and I go up and around. Up and around. Okay? See? Now, I always press. And when you press, it makes the perfect line for you. And then you just follow it. And make it faster. Oh, no. I just love showing people tricks. Okay, so there's my liner, and then I'll just use a general color, nothing, nothing big deal. This one I got from Kohl's. I love this one. Sorry, started to think you were my mirror. This is one of the best mirrors I ever found. I think I got it at Target also. It's flat too. It's just perfect. I could have got it at Rite Aid or CVS. Anyways, then I see how I do my head. I don't want to mess up the line. So I always do the bottom first. And then I go. Just so I get some up there. And then I fill it in. And that's it. And then, and then, I thought I had a brush. Well, maybe if I had my glasses on, I could find it. And let me get up for a minute. take a shower, you don't feel so fresh. It's the same feeling. When you get your makeup on, you feel, you feel ready for the day. You feel ready to go. Alright, so what are we going to go do? Alright, sorry if this took too long. See you for next.